Recently, I've noticed there's a large misunderstanding from people who don't mind crypto. Tons of comments saying, you're better off buying the crypto. You're gonna lose all your profits to power. Today, I'm gonna walk you through why I mine crypto and why these naysayers don't know what they're talking about. Stay tuned, let's get into it. What if I told you that mining crypto is actually a risk-free way to accumulate crypto? I've always been a big believer in traditional finance and ETFs as my main forms of investing. Cryptocurrency price appreciation is appealing, but the risks have always seemed extremely high compared to traditional finance. Let's walk through an example of why mining is relatively risk-free. Let's say I invest $5,000 into mining hardware and I invest $5,000 into cryptocurrency. The next day, the market tanks 50%. My cryptocurrency that I bought with $5,000 is now worth $2,500, 50% less. I'm down 50% on my investment. However, my mining hardware is still worth $5,000. You can always sell your mining equipment back and that's what a lot of people forget when they're doing profit calculations of mining crypto. And if you buy your hardware before the crypto bull run, there's a decent chance that your hardware is going to appreciate in value. Normally GPUs, they depreciate over time, but during bull markets, and it's happened multiple times, mining hardware tends to increase in value. So I almost think of it of like renting a house. You're getting a monthly income, which is rent. In crypto's case, it's the crypto you're mining, but also your investment has a chance to appreciate. So in the house example, the house can gain value over time since you're the owner. And in the crypto example, the hardware itself, the GPUs can gain value over time. Everybody knows that owning and renting a house is a great investment, but for some reason people don't understand that mining crypto is a very similar investment. Another reason I mine crypto is I strongly believe that Bitcoin is going to appreciate in price in the coming months and the coming years. And with it, it will bring all the altcoins up with it, at least for a short time. I personally bought my first crypto in 2017 and like most, I didn't sell it at the peak. I missed out, but I held it for the next three years. And unfortunately, I sold it right before the next Bitcoin to buy this house I'm in right now. I can't say I regret it, but that $500 of Ethereum that I sold would have been $5,000 two months after I sold it. So I won't be making that mistake again. When I started mining Ethereum in 2021, I knew that I was not going to sell my coins that bull run or even potentially the next one. So I'm still holding all the Ethereum I mined in 2021 in hopes that it will skyrocket in price in 2024, 2025. And my personal plan is I'll likely sell it when it gets to the tens of thousands of dollar figure I'm looking for to fund my next house. People that complain in the comments that, oh, you're not making enough to cover the power bill, the power's gonna eat all your profit, or all that work isn't worth it for $1 a day. Those people don't understand that we're not selling the crypto that we mine, or at least you shouldn't be. You should be trying to hold it and wait until that price appreciation comes. For example, if you're making $1 a day right now in profit, that may not seem like a lot, but you have to think of it of what happens if that coin 5Xs or 10Xs in the next bull run. Look at it that way. That means you're almost making $10 a day or more in profit back when you were mining all those days. So personally for me, when I was making $11 a day at the beginning of January, if those coins 10x, it was the equivalent of me making $110 a day while I'm sleeping, while I'm going to my normal job. It's Mining crypto is just such an awesome investment and it's so passive once you get everything set up that it really is a great opportunity. Another reason I mine crypto is just investment diversity. Everybody knows that diversity is extremely important in investments unless you're putting all your money into the S&P 500, which in itself is already diverse. Diversity in investment is a good thing. I'm not gonna say throw all your money into crypto mining. And in fact, if you don't already have a good nest egg and investments in traditional finance, mining crypto might not be the first thing that you should get into. But if you already have a good bucket of ETFs and a high yield savings account with an emergency fund in it, then mining crypto can offer a great diversified option for your 
entire investment portfolio. Not only are you gaining the coins that you hold as an investment, but you're also somewhat investing into the hardware. If you buy it now when it's cheap before the bull run, the hardware itself can appreciate. If you watch Red Panda Mining at all, he just bought $5,000 worth of RX 580 GPUs and it's like two months later and they're already worth $10,000. He's not selling them yet, but in the bull run, that could easily become a $20,000, $30,000 investment just on GPUs. And for those who don't believe that these smaller coins are going to appreciate, go on the CoinGecko and look at some of these most recent coins. Over the last three months, a lot of them have 3x, 4x, 5x. And that might make you think that you've missed the boat, but a lot of those coins have already dropped back 50% just in the last month. Now is actually a great time to get in and start to accumulate those coins because when they drop 50% in price, some miners have to turn off. So that means for the miners who are still mining, our yield goes up. We're making more of the coins which will appreciate more in 2024 and 2025. The last reason I mine crypto is just because it's fun. It's a good hobby to have, it keeps you busy, and who doesn't love a hobby that makes you money and potentially could make you big money? The great thing about mining is that you have the option to be extremely hands-on or get your hardware set up and never touch it again for the next few months, assuming nothing crashes. Personally, I like to be pretty hands-on and squeeze out that last little bit of efficiency and profits that I can via messing around with the overclocks on my cards. But crypto mining is also a hobby that you'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot about computers, BIOSes, and motherboards, and just general computer components in the last three years than I did through my entire computer engineering degree. And one last thing I'll address about the people who complain about, oh, you're leaving the world worse than you found it. You're using so much power. Yeah, that's true. Bitcoin does use a lot of power and so does GPU mining crypto. But tell me how much power does a company like Visa or MasterCard use? Give me those numbers and I bet it's a lot higher. That's all I'll leave you guys with today. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's why I mine crypto. Tell me in the comments, why do you mine crypto? Or if you don't, why don't you mine crypto? I'll see you guys next time. Modern Mining out.